Yo, uh, what is going on guys? It is your boy Seth. There was a video here today. There was a brand new video here today of Photoshop Effect tutorial on how to create your very own cool hologram effect that I think is super freaking dope. And I actually saw it last week. I was doing one-on-one -on -one portfolios on my Twitch channel. And it was basically where I just kind of take portfolios and have cool little fun interviews with students of design, go through them, por uh, the portfolios, kind of say, yo, what can be worked, what can be helped, etc., etc., etc. And I saw this really cool little hologram effect that he did to showcase on like a screen on a banner design. I was like, that's super freaking fun. I want to give it a shot and showcase it and do it in my own little fun way. So hopefully in today's video here today, you can learn a really cool fun effect you can take in the future. Because I feel like holograms, future, they kind of go hand in hand and I feel like they'll never really go away. So realistically, it's a really fun long-term use case effect that you might not realize you might need now, but you might need in the future. Who knows? So hope you guys enjoyed today's video today. As always, if you guys have any really fun, cool effects you want to see me do, um, just let me know in the comments section below. And uh, that's all I got. Enjoy the video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this thing started right here, right now. And of course, the first thing we're going to end up using is getting these vertical lines inside our project here today. So these little vertical lines, it's kind of what makes up the entire thing on its own and sort of like gives that really fun and cool hologram-esque look to it. So in the description down below, you guys will see a pattern file. So to actually activate and put in that pattern file, let's actually go and do, uh, go ahead excuse me, and do the first step, which is making a new layer in here. Okay, so on this new layer, I'm going to quick fill any color in. So alt plus backspace quick fills in your four run color which basically it doesn't matter what color this is at all because the first thing once you do that is you're gonna go to fill and lower this down from 100 to zero percent just like so now it's gonna basically not show what's on the actual layer itself but we'll show the layer options so if i double click on the layer options we're gonna go to where it says overlay right here and then over here where it says a little drop down right here you want to click on that click on the cogwheel and put import patterns and in this import patterns you put in that file that i will have in the description down below for you guys download it import it and you guys will get this one right here so this is if i just quickly zoom in as well a little bit right when i go back over here obviously the thinness or thickness of your lines will give you a kind of a different look so if you go super thin it'll give you more of a sort of like hd display let's say you know if you do a little bit less you get more of that kind of fun sort of like um very very obvious holographic or sort of how do you say low res um display going on here so mine is at 75 percent i'm gonna keep it at 75 percent so with this this is now our fun little cool sort of like hologram-esque pattern that we have here so all we got to do now is going to right click on this and do convert to smart object and that'll just allow that to be its own layer and its own simple thing and uh, if you ever have to go back into it you just double click on this little pattern uh so me page layer right here and with this then you can go back into it fix it save it in this document here before you exit exit and it'll update over here just in case you ever have to go back but now we're actually good to start this thing up so what the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and i'm gonna drag this layer below this layer right here so this is no longer the original copy this is gonna be our render number two and i'm also not gonna make this a color we're gonna make this like this so you don't get lost right so render number two here we're gonna on this copy i'm gonna turn off the reds and the greens and only use blue for right now all right i'm gonna press ok so with this now i can take my arrow keys on my keyboard i'm gonna move it to the left just a little bit and you're going to notice this little RGB sort of like thing coming in, right? So you can see this is exactly what that is. So that's what I'm going to do two more times with to the other two colors. So RGB, red, blue, and green. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, take this render, alt, drag it below. This is now render number three. So in render number three, we're going to make this render, double click back on it, right? We're going to make this render red, right? On this red, press OK. Now I'm going to kind of say like, I don't know, I think my red looks pretty cool on this left hand side. I'm going to move the blue one or to the right hand side a little bit like this. I think that looks a little bit better. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna do one more actually, one more render, this is number four, right? So on number four, we're gonna do the same exact thing and we're only gonna use green this time, press okay. And on this one, I'm gonna move it like down and to the left. So left, down, left, down, just so I can get a very nice obvious RGB split that looks pretty freaking cool to me. So <clears throat> once you guys have this, um, you're pretty much like, you know, at a certain point where it's really fun to kind of really try some other stuff distortions things like that but for me what i like to do is on my render original which is my original first render right i'm gonna push i'll press on it and use this little layer mask lay up uh, english is hard layer mask here and on this little layer mask we're gonna use a brush so with this soft brush here uh if you hold alt and you right click and you move left and right you can make it bigger and smaller up and down is your hardness by the way if you want to ever use your brush really nicely and quickly without having to right click over here move that around right so nice little soft brush for me uh, which means of course zero hardness once again Right, I'm going to go into this and let's use a black to erase. So what happens is when you guys are on a layer mask, of course, you see my current color is white. Nothing is happening. But if I use it black or switch it with pressing X on my keyboard, it'll start erasing things. Right. So you can get that nice, really cool sort of like RGB split on certain areas. So for me, I want it to be full, 
you know, perfectly a nice, a nice little white background here. So I'm going to press alt backspace to quick fill in that white again. But with a black brush to erase, I'm going to go around these certain areas and give the actual render itself a very obvious RGB. So, uh, RGB. so I don't want to really go around his face, not too much right here or around whatever your render is. I just want to go around spots to just make it very, very distinct that it is obviously glitching and having that really cool effect in there. Something like over here, down here, right? Something like that. And that's a pretty solid spot, like even on this thing right there, right? Because if without that, if I just make another duplicate, uh, duplicate really quick, right? Without that, all you're getting is this. But with it, you get this really cool sort of like look. You can see it kind of obviously bringing it more to life. And that's exactly what we want and how we want it. And I think that's pretty solid right there, right? I would say that's pretty good. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. So what's going to actually end up coming into play now is we're going to actually take the render original and hold shift on our keyboard and select this uh, bottom layer, which basically selects everything in between your two clicks. So with this render, all the render select, and I'm going to press control J to make a duplicate and then control E to merge it all together. Now that I have it all more together, you have this really cool sort of render all in this one simple layer. So with this now, we're going to do a really fun and old technique using the rectangle marquee tool, which is M on your keyboard for the quick shortcut, by the way. Use Alt and Shift to zoom in real quick. And I'm going to press, basically make these very skinny rectangles, right? I'm going to hold a Shift on my computer while I also make some of these rectangles because if you were not holding Shift and you were to click again, it will get rid of it. But I'm gonna, I can press Control Z to go back, hold Shift again, and then start going through and making these really fun, small little rectangles where they're basically going to act like little slits or glitches in the hologram um, effect and whatnot. And just make it come to life a little bit more. So I want to say right here here and i'm just gonna do this nicely all the way around like fun little areas right even around his eye could be kind of cool to like slit that i think that's a pretty solid spot right there down here nice one on his shoulder we can make a really skinny one we're going over here you know even i would even say the less noticeable even the better i want it to be very subtle so sometimes i'm not gonna make really big slits like this you know go go very slim or even slim er don't go crazy thick and in, in that case i mean if you want to you can give it a shot it might look good but once you guys have enough i think i have enough here i'm gonna right click now and then I'm going to use right here layer via copy. So a layer via copy is, is of course, copying the layer that we had originally here and leaving this layer alone. So really with this, with this copy layer that we did, we merge it all together. We can just hide this and call it whatever, right? Because I don't really need it anymore. But if you ever need to go back and redo it, you can just keep it there um, for future notes. But now what I can do is you can see, I'm just going to make a quick little thing like this, right? You can see all of our little slits that are actually on that copy. So with these little slits now, I can take my mouse key or not uh, my uh, arrow keys and hold shift. Right, I'm going to move left. You can see what's happening is since, of course, once it's copied over this original, uh, how do you say, render copy, you're going to get this really fun, like, it's, you're not going to see it until you move it with shift, moving it to the left a little bit, or you can just use your mouse key or you can use your mouse as well. But holding shift, moving it to the left, will keep it on the same orientation and move it like four or five pixels. And for me, it gives it that very little stink, little distinct kind of fun um, ness to it. I don't know how else to put it, but it's a little fun added element to actually add to it. So I think it looks pretty freaking cool in my opinion here. So what I want to go ahead and do now is one more thing. Let's go over here to file new and we're going to make a new 91 by 1080. We're going to literally keep the white background and make a new layer, right? Just like so. Now with this new layer, I'm going to fill this in with any color. Again, it doesn't really matter. Take the fill, lower it down to zero, double click. Let's go over here to pattern overlay. And just again, I'm going to make this a little bit more bigger though this time. I'm going to go with like, I had it on 75, right? Let's go with 100% uh, scale this time. Press OK, right? So all we're going to basically, basically see on this is a white background and an actual pattern on it. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to file, save as, save to my computer. I'm going to save this on my computer. Sweet. Now we named it displacement.psd. So now I have a PSD named displacement. So this will be our displacement map. So if we were to go back to the effects over here, right? So the reason why we made that is if we press control, alt, shift, and E, it'll merge everything in the entire layer into one single layer, just like so, right? So on this one single layer now, if I go to file or filter, excuse me, distort, displace, and I'm going to use five and five as my scale stretch to fit and as well as repeat edge pixels, press OK, and then I'll find my PSD. And once you find your PSD and open it, you get a displacement map on top of this a, a, a layer right here. And it looks pretty freaking crazy and cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, use a layer mask, alt backspace or control backspace to quick fill in full black. That way it's, of course, erased entirely. Then I'm going to take my brush and take a white brush 
and then over the edges alone i'm gonna basically make this kind of like how it would look if you were to have a blurry sort of like quarter in the edges because i feel like it wouldn't be super super straightforward like that but not all the way around i'm gonna go very loosely uh loosely around certain areas maybe like this entire circle can make that kind of loose like that and this will also bring to life that entire fun element of the hologram effect i think it looks pretty dope there even like here or like here right and like i want to do his eye like again like, that would look kind of weird so i'm gonna leave that alone just like that I think that looks pretty freaking good to me. You can see all my alt shifts to zoom in, but yeah, I think this is pretty dope right here. Yeah, for sure. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is one more single thing to actually make it all come to life, which is this fun little bottom element piece right here. Um, alongside with, of course, you want to add a little bit of light in the background here. So what I, I just added some very quick, you know, new layer all the way to the bottom, made it nice and blue, the same blue in the background, just click and drag, right? A uh, nice little simple line right in the middle, control U, take my lightness, make it a little bit more brighter. I can see all my little mistakes of, uh, how do you say, uh, the rent original render right here and this render right here, because I didn't put that on beforehand. But regardless, I guess I'm going like, to do like this, then in this stead, then we'll do linear dodge add, or lighter color is pretty fine. Then we can take this and erase it right in the middle so it's not over the actual render, right? Stay right here. Now, you won't really see it anywhere else on top of the render, but only in the bottom, so or, or only in the back. I think it looks pretty solid right there. Now, a nice little, simple sort of like little, you know, very faint glow in the background looks pretty good. So now what I can do um, is this little fun part right here, right? This is a very, very simple thing we're going to do. So what we're going to do is the same exact thing as before. So Control, Alt, Shift, and E to merge all the things in the entire group or the entire PSD into one single layer. Then we're going to take our nice marquee tool once again, rectangle marquee tool. And we're going to give ourselves very, I guess, I guess in this case will be more thicker rectangles like so. Right, one big one like so. Hold shift. Let's make one really, really close to it. Pretty average size as well again. Oh, my hair's still wet. Um, and then right over here, no, let's right here. And also, if you want to ever move your uh your marquee selection while you're also doing it, you see how I kind of moved it too far to the left or whatever. You can just while you're doing it, right? Holding shift while you're doing it, press space. And I can move it as well. And I'm gonna make a nice skinny slit like right. Here, let's just say right there. I think that's gonna be okay. If it's not, it's, we can always kind of fix it or whatever. But we're gonna right click layer via copy, just like so. We can go ahead and just get rid of this one. And on this right here, we're gonna get rid of the only thing right here is gonna be green. I'm gonna take that off, just like so. Now, once again, you can hold shift or just move your mouse, right? Hold shift, move it to the left. We're gonna make this very, very dramatic, obvious color distortion that's kind of making it feel a little more glitchy, hologrammy, and kind of like, you know, making a you know, kind of a very aggressive idea. I think that's pretty solid. I would love to make it even bigger. I love how I did mine here. Um, honestly, I made them a little more smaller and a little more spaced out. It all depends on what you really want to do, but even if I wanted to, I can do another one just like so, right? I can do this, copy, right? Take that away again, go over here, and then we'll do green, take that away, then move it to the right, and there we go. Now I got myself a little bit more of a sort of distortion. I think right here, that's pretty solid. I think final, we're going to do... We're going to do adjustments, curves, take the curves, put a nice little S curve in there, just like this. I'm not going to go too far down on this side here, but a nice adjustment curve like so, right, to bring this all to life. But I'm going to get rid of everything first with control backspace. That'll quick fill in the black in this layer mask. That way it's erasing everything. Then if I go with my white brush, just like so, right, and if I go back in, I can highlight certain parts of his face. We can highlight the, the orb in this case, right? We can highlight, you know, the right hand side a little bit more. Just because I think that's, you know, kind of fair and also the inside as well. Just give it only certain highlights to certain spots just to make it come to life in its own dynamic way. And just like that, you got yourself a little hologram effect going on here. So realistically, I think this is super, super freaking cool. Um, the way I saw it the first time on that live stream was really just like, it just looked really dope. And I just want to showcase you guys how you can do it yourselves. If you just copy everything, move it over, right? You can use it as cool little mock-ups or whatever. Like you can use it for like cities and modern cities is a really fun effect to just know because you can also use this pretty much anywhere with the world of like futuristics holograms all that good stuff it's not going anywhere so it's just a really cool idea to know how to actually do um and make some stuff for your graphics so that's all i got so yeah also the lighting i'm very aware was like slowly slowly going down because i did record this at literally sunset so apologies if you're like really weird about the lighting but if you go back to the beginning of the video it'd be kind of funny so with that being said i love you guys so very much seso hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later 
much love and of course you want to see me any sort of any videos you want to see me do maybe cool effects you've probably seen let me know in the comment section below of course if you like this video leave a like on the video and uh that's all i got love you guys peace